it's been a while. Hey everyone, how is everybody doing? This is Anbhav here, back again with a brand new video. And of course, you're watching AR Setups. Welcome to the 14th episode. I have just upgraded to the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And you know, this is actually the first home screen setup that I've created with it. So I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So before we get started, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. Right after we talk about today's sponsor, that is Dr. Phone Password Manager for iOS. US. Let's get started. All right, guys, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Dr. Phone Password Manager for iOS. Now, this is a brand new app from the guys over at Dr. Phone where you can recover your iOS passwords. Over here, you can recover and find your Apple ID account and passwords, scan and view mail accounts and credit card information, find your saved Wi Fi password, and also recover the screen time passcode. This can be super, super helpful if you just forget your Apple ID or if you miss any mail passports or if you have forgotten basic the screen time passcode for your iPhone. This can be super, super helpful. And you can also export these passwords to different applications, including Google Chrome. So the first thing that you have to do to do this is of course, try it for free. I have already installed it, so I'm just gonna open it up. Once you open up Dr. Phone, you can go ahead and select the password manager. This is where you will be asked to plug in your device. And I'm just gonna do that and let's see how this basically works. So once it has opened, what we'll go and click on is password manager. And over here, the first thing that you have to do is connect your device to your computer. So over here, I've connected my iPhone to my computer. I'm just gonna unlock this and let it figure out. Over here, now you can detect your account password in one click. All you have to do is click on the start scan button. Now over here, as you can see, it says, please enter the iTunes backup password. Once this is done, it's gonna completely scan the phone. It's gonna take about 116 minutes because there is a large amount of data and then it will find out basically all the password and whatever it is that you have forgotten, you can recover it from there. Once finished scanning, as you guys can see, you can select the different categories from which you want to recover, whether it's your Apple ID, WhatsApp, Wi-Fi account. And once that is done, you can export the CSV file format to either Chrome, Dashlane, LastPass or any of the other apps that are there. This is super, super convenient because not only can you recover all the passwords, but you can also save them for different applications. And you can completely try it out for free. In case you want to buy it, there is a one month license, a one year license and a lifetime license. And the prices that are available are super, super cheap for the kind of service that they provide. I would highly recommend you guys to check out Dr. Phone Password Manager. Be sure to check it out and the link will be in the description below. All right, guys. So this is the home screen setup that you guys can see. First off, as I said, just upgraded to the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and I am absolutely loving this phone. Feels really great to be back in Android after using iOS. I liked using it, but now I've switched back and I'm fine by using this phone. All right. So with that said, let's just get into the main setup. So the first thing that we are going to be talking about is obviously the launcher that I'm using. Now, if you guys have any indication about me or this channel, you know that I'm using Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher recently got a pretty major update called Nova 7 which added a lot of cool features but what is important to keep in mind here is that you will find a Nova backup link in the description below you can download that and then install it in the backup and restore settings of Nova launcher what this will do is basically let you have the same exact settings all the tinkering that I've done in Nova settings you'll get it by basically doing nothing just importing that now let's talk about the wallpaper the wallpaper that I'm using is from the wallpaper app called spaghetti wallpaper recently spoke about this in the latest top Android apps video and honestly this wallpaper app is absolutely crazy it's called wallpaper 116 I'm still yet to give away the promo codes for this wallpaper app because it is paid so be sure to follow me on Instagram and you'll find that over there. So the next thing that I want to talk about is obviously the widgets and the icon pack. We'll start with the icon pack first. Now, this is an icon pack that is truly unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's called the Blurric icon pack. It's currently available on the Play Store for 30 rupees. That is less than half a dollar for my friends that are watching from outside India. But honestly, guys, if you want a good icon pack, a fresh icon pack, this is the one to get. Look at the icons here. They have this super cool glassy look. Every icon has a lot of work that has 
has been put into it and for 30 indian rupees i think it is completely worth it so be sure to check it out it will be linked below that is the icon pack that i'm using on this setup over here of course you can apply it if you go to nova settings look and feel and select the icon pack from there now let's talk about these two beautiful widgets which are obviously you know in line with the android 12 theme first off i want to talk about a third widget which is this widget most of you guys already know this is the stuff to do list widget i use this all the time to add tasks and you know keep them on my home screen usually in the second page but now moving to the two other widgets first off is this music widget that directly opens up youtube music and then we have the main clock that borrows heavily from the android 12 you know theme this is basically from a kwgt skin pack called android 12 u for kwgt and yes once again this is a paid pack as well but the amount of widgets that there are here and the amount of stuff that you can do with it it's absolutely crazy and it's really really nice the best part about these widgets is the fact that they are truly dynamic meaning even if the widgets have a different color in the widget pack the color changes depending upon the main color in your wallpaper sort of like material hue but not really but then again it is a very good thing to say i really like all of the widgets here and yeah they look absolutely stunning and well, that is pretty much it for this setup. Let me know what you guys think about this setup. What was your favorite app? And be sure to follow me on Instagram to get a chance to grab the Spaghetti Wallpaper promo code to get that application for absolutely free. And well, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Let me know what you think about this setup. Let me know if you like the application, the type of theme that we displayed here. And I'll be back with a new episode soon. A lot of new videos are in the pipeline, including the infamous setup tour, as well as the desk tour. I'm working on them. A lot of videos will also be now uploaded on the vlog channel. I'll keep you guys updated over there as well. With that said, guys, this is Anwab signing out. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Peace out.